So we're going to discuss uh, like how you can get writing skills in the paper. All of you, please take out your notebooks and just note down. So writing skills, your questions, they can be format based. Like format is like, yes, so where would the subject come, right? So you write say after the uh, receiver's address or above the salutation or after the salutation, wherever, you know, format basis. So notice, right? So do I write uh, a time and a place in a notice? I don't. So these kind of options would be given. So you can get format based, you can get content based. Content would be given and you will have to identify the content. How will that happen? Now, supposing here, yes, right, you are going to get 50 questions, which are going to be divided into your reading, writing, grammar, and literature. Yeah, so now 50 here and marks would be, so all questions carry equal marks. There is no negative marking, right? And please here, you know, students, when you have your question paper and you get the OMR sheet, like of course here on the, OMR, you know what it looks like? Yes, so you, no, you can't. So like you have these circles here, right? So A, B, C, D option. Corresponding circle you have to darken, which answer you want to write. Yeah, like of course, so A over here, if it is correct, okay? So do that correctly. And please here, yeah, if there is choice, if there is choice, say five questions are given and you have to do four, right? The one that you do not want to do should be left blank. It should not be the next one. Question number has to be correct. So if you're doing question 41, you've left 42, you're doing 43. You will not write against 41. Otherwise, answer is wrong. We'll see the answer of 41. Isn't it? So a, a question you've said is wrong, your whole thing is going to go wrong. Please be careful. And as I'm telling you, you are there absolutely out of touch in how to appear for exams and things like that. Please keep your presence of mind. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, it is better if you want to do it that or do one thing here. Just put a little dot here, maybe on the correct answer that you want to go read it once again. And then, of course, in the end, you can darken it and don't put your dot like this. Don't put your dot here outside, okay? Or don't put a cross like this. You know the ways of writing the correct answer. Please remember your answer here and the question should match. You cannot complain to us, ma'am or I have written this thought. It's a choice. I thought any three karne the first three he may answer aega. Corresponding question ke saath hi tumne answer likhna hai. Jo tumne attempt karna The number of the question is very, very important. Am I clear to you? Is it clear? Yes, there will be total 50 MCQs and you have to do all 50. If choices are there, that would be internal choice. Right? Mentioned. So you have to, don't look at uh, the OMR. Oh my God, ma'am said 50 questions and there are 60 over here. Right? OMR sheet mein, because sare questions ke liye option hoga na answer ka. To mein kya pata 60 mein se 50 karna if choices are given. Hmm. So answers four, answers to correct four hi hai na. Extra question karne ke koi extra marks nahi hai. No one is going to get 51 out of 50. You're not lucky here. I know that ki tumko lag uska mark add hoga. No. 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 That means, agar five mein se four karne, hum five ke five kar dengi. Ki ma'am, apna dhoonte rai correct concept. I, I, that is what you're saying. No. No. Why will it compensate? 
no no substitutes when you're supposed to do four why would you attempt to five over attempt to the very last question wrong hi kar dena unhone so i right over wrong or last question will be marked as over attempt okay clear so please do not get smart and over attempt there is not enough time for you to do extra questions the time is very limited no we are the computers here so we we are there that is why that human element has been added to show that sympathy towards you all okay right so of course it is going to be checked manually it is this, this is not a competitive exam where it is going to be checked in uh, computers right it's going to be scanned and just uh, that way all the answers are there right when just tick feed whatever way it is checked here now let's uh, come to how are you going to get your writing skills okay have we discussed uh, do you know how to write a letter to an editor do we know that yes can we write a letter of uh, complaint or a letter of inquiry write down the question please write down huh and uh, write down the question please you are devashree devashree a resident of siliguri assam devashree right you have to write a letter to you have to write a letter to right blooming minds institute right uh, say uh, delhi and you want to make inquiries about a course right uh, say a course in creative writing you get a question like this okay your question is going to be like this now here what are let's say this is a question now what are the options which are going to be relevant before writing this letter right what are the things that i need to keep in mind do i need the news papers name it is not a letter to editor it's an inquiry ha huh? इंक्वायरी में न्यूज पेपर आएगा नहीं आएगा ना नो यस सो इन इन योर लेटर ऑफ इंक्वायरी हियर देयर इज नो न्यूज पेपर ओके राइट सो डू आई नीड द इंस्टीट्यूट्स नेम यस डू आई नीड लेट मी सी pamphlet of the institute which i got uh, with in the newspaper or uh, some do i need the pamphlet of the institute pamphlet chahiye mujhe letter likhne ke liye attach karni hai letter ke sath wo no do i need address yes of the sender and the receiver here it is this is there do i need formal tone So, what are the things that I require here before I start writing the letter? What are the things that I need? Can you see the blackboard, all of you? Can you see? Do I need the newspaper's name? I'm not writing to the newspaper. It is a letter of inquiry. I'm writing to the institute. Do I need the institute's name? Yes. Do I need a pamphlet of the institute? Do I have to attach it? See, I read this. That's why I'm writing it. You need it? Okay. then i need to address yes so whether it is of the sender or the receiver and i need a formal tone why do i need a formal tone because that is the way i'm going to write the letter the letter has to be 
फॉर्मल सो फॉर अ फॉर्मल लेटर आई नीड ये जो सारे तुम कर रहे हो ना ये सारे लेटर टू द एडिटर बिजनेस लेटर्स लेटर टू हायर अथॉरिटीज एप्लीकेशन दीज आर फॉर्मल लेटर्स इन फॉर्मल लेटर्स वी राइट टू आर रिलेटिव फ्रेंड्स कजन पीपल यू आर फेमिलियर विथ राइट नेबर्स ओके सो फाइन सो दीज आर देर यू राइट दीज इन फॉर्मल लेटर्स टू पीपल यू आर कंफर्टेबल विथ पीपल यू आर नोन टू and that is why the tone it can be little casual also but not so casual also right because we are writing letters here so when we are writing a formal letter our tone has to be how's uh, you don't say okay how's the institute running and hope you doing getting profits and all and how did the pandemic uh, you know what uh, affect you we can't write all this can i write all this in my letter of inquiry no i'm not because i am writing a very formal letter there is a, you know a distance that has to be maintained there is that formality that has to be maintained and how do i express that I express that in my writing the formal tone okay now here yes now what would be an appropriate subject for this yes uh, please uh, Har harshika send me the attendance today and uh, let me see who all are absent here please uh, send me the attendance so what would be the appropriate subject the subject would be learn creative writing would it be creative uh, writing course yes which would be the best uh, subject which would be the best uh, subject that you have to write yes which is the best subject to, uh, for here learn creative writing so inquiry about creative writing okay so yeah, this would be your subject absolutely correct now here now when i write my letter when i write my letter what are the things that i would focus on in this is how you going to get your questions will you be able to select the correct option will you be able to attempt them if you stay awake if you sleep you will not be able to do anything right so if uh, this we have done now what are the things i require what is the subject now after the subject what comes your content part so when i am writing a inquiry letter for a creative writing course please let us select the things which are required let me write them first things which would be correct duration so which would be the content based topics here what are the things that i would uh, like to talk about in the content yes so which one uh, here please look at these you are not giving your options i have given these options tell me which one is there i will talk about the duration of the course yes i'll talk about importance of creative writing no need for that i know the importance that is why i am making the inquiries i'll talk about the fee 
Yes. Will I talk about the qualification? I I will have to ask the qualification. Am I qualified enough? Your qualification. Will I ask of the sender? हम जो पर जो करा रहा कोर्स उसकी भी क्वालिफिकेशन पूछते हैं. Do you do you inquire about the faculty? Do you check their qualifications or not when you join an institute? Is it? Fraud, okay, or originality. Here I am talking about the sender's qualification. Who is the sender? You are the sender. You will ask about the qualification for applying for this course. Are you eligible? Is it tenth pass, twelfth pass, graduate, postgraduate? What all who can do this course? Okay. Am I talking about location of the institute? Is it important? Yes. Where is it? And uh, I because if I know the location, I know whether I'll need a hostel facility or whether I can be a, a yes a, a day a student, isn't it right? Then spreading messages to friend and relatives about this institute. No, I am not going to add this. Definitely not. Okay, right? Clear? Fine. So you will get questions like this. Is it easy or is it difficult? लिटरेचर का नहीं पता लिटरेचर तो तभी पता चलेगा ना कि अगर हम लोग रीडिंग करेंगे राइट सो आई टोल्ड यू प्लीज गो थ्रू एवरीथिंग यू शुड नो ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड एंड वर्ड्स व्हिच आर न्यू टू यू हाउ मेनी पोएम्स आर देयर पोएम्स so if go so from a photograph if i ask you what's the meaning of uh, transient what does that mean transient terribly transient feet i'm not giving you options i'm asking you okay when i talk about terribly transient feet am i talking about okay fine these are the kind of questions which you're going to get for your writing skills i can ask you how am i going to close the letter right why well, i will i talk about yes that i am uh, i want the brochure or i'm sending the money right and uh, reply uh, soon how am i going to end the letter yeah nahi ek nahi likhi hogi tumhe options pata kaise aayengi you will get a option is it 1 3 4 b option is it 2 4 5 okay option will be a b c d only the options within these would be different clear match the following you will not get you are not in class 2 that you are going to get match the following no in english we don't get match the following no 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 i am not making things so easy for you all no no Word meanings definitely would be there. Word meanings are going to be there, right? And your comprehension passage. Let me tell you, I'm going to discuss that also with you. I might send you a sample pa passage. It is not once again. Okay, you read the questions. Okay, let's find the answers, right? It's not going to be like that. As he got there, na, March tak. We we changed. We've changed now. We've uh, you know evolved. Okay. right or during this uh, pandemic so what are you going to do now is that passage is just going to be a reference there are so many ideas associated with it paragraph padho dekho what is the message what is the idea i have to you know like maybe you might have to suggest a title for it maybe you might have to find uh, you know the meanings which are relevant ha huh? you know why this problem is there because we don't read we have never ever made any effort to read if there is a word which is slightly different from what we don't know we get a panic attack right oh my god which word is this when did it come into the english vocabulary right so fine here yeah, please expand your horizons without reading uh, i don't think so you can manage english 
Okay, I wanted to ask here terribly transient feed because when we do the chapter, when we're doing the literature, you people are lost in some other world only. You don't listen to what the teacher has to say. Then when tests come, then you all of a sudden become so aware. Terribly transient feed here. Do you remember the device? Do you remember the device cynic jockey? Can you see it? Is it visible? Cynic jockey. Can any one of you tell me what does it mean? We've discussed it terribly transient feet. What does transient change? Feet. Whose feet have been referred to? The feet of the girls in the photograph and how it is there that the waves are washing and things have changed. Transient feet, changed feet. Is it only the feet that have changed or the girls have changed? They have changed with the passage of time. Mother grew, she used to laugh at the photograph. Mother is no more, time has moved on. The girls have changed, the girls have grown. Now, what is Sinek Joki? Yes, Navya, no wonder uh, you're the best. When a part represents a whole. Feet is not only feet, it is not only the feet that have changed, but everything has changed. Please note this down. And I have told you again, whenever I do any kind of different uh, poetic device, of course it is uh, done at there. Yeah. How many girls were there in the photograph? Three were there. Photograph is there. It is about mother and her cousins, you know, Betty and Dolly, and she laughs at how they were dressed up for the beach. It's very clear. Who was the fourth person there? Uncle was there who was taking the photograph, right? Uncle with the camera. Right? So there are three girls in the photograph. Yes. So when a part represents a whole, so it is not only the feet that are transient. It is everything that has changed. Please read. And if you have any doubts, I'm always welcome. You can ask me any kind of questions or any problems that you have.